Welcome to the AMG Driving Academy. It's a curriculum imported from Europe where we have one, two, and three-day courses where you'll get to experience virtually the whole line of AMG vehicles provided for you. World-class driving instructors at some of the greatest racetracks in North America. Hi, I'm Tommy Kendall, four-time Trans Am champ and host of Test Drive on Speed Channel. Welcome to the AMG Driving Academy. I hope you enjoy these short films that take you through a little bit of the curriculum that we teach at the Academy. In this episode, we're gonna cover braking technique. It's ironic because everybody thinks to go fast, why use the brakes? But the reality is the best race car drivers in the world, the main area they're better generally is under braking. And it happens a couple ways. They get up to max brake force faster. They hold it right on that limit, which we call threshold braking. And then they release it in a proper way that has the car in the proper attitude to enter the corner. One of the hardest parts to braking is threshold brake, which means brake right at the threshold where the wheel is just starting to lock. If you lock a wheel, braking distance goes up by 30%. If you're underneath the threshold, you're giving away some stopping distance. So that's what ABS does. It Not only does it give you directional control, which is probably its biggest benefit, is it actually is constantly monitoring the speed of the wheels so that you can stop in the shortest possible distance. Then you also have what's called trail braking, which is used entering some of the slower corners. If you think about a tire, for it to do anything well, it needs all of its capability towards that. If it's accelerating, it's going to accelerate the hardest in a straight line. If it's braking, it's going to brake the best in a straight line. If it's turning, it's going to be turning with no accelerating or braking. Well, racetracks aren't square with square corners, so you end up having to blend those together. Trail braking is one of the ways we do this. You would do threshold braking to get the majority of your speed off, but the last little bit, as you're starting to add steering, you could be releasing the brake. And so you're freeing up a little bit of the tire's capacity by releasing the brake, you're taking that up with adding the steering. When you have weight on the tire, the contact patch grows, has more grip. So you want more weight on those front tires to help it turn. You do that by not releasing the brake all the way. A little bit of the weight is still on the front. You're releasing some capacity. You're filling it up with turning. What we have here is a braking exercise where we've got brake markers and then a stop box. You have to stop the car within that stop box. I like to say God lives in the brake zone. That's not only because sometimes you see him when you brake too late, but uh, that is the really, really tough part to master. And there's a bunch of components to it, so I'll uh, t take you through this. You're, you're trying to generate reference points, which we have these markers on the right that are really consistent, but then your brake application has to be the same as well, meaning you need to ramp up as quickly as possible. The quicker you can ramp up that force, the shorter your stopping distance. You need to brake the exact same way. That way your braking distance should kind of slide as a constant. And you will basically go through a version of that exercise at every hard braking zone on every racetrack you ever go to. And it's easier said than done because when you really get to the limit, you're, you're modifying that brake point by literally a, a foot or two. There's a term we call out braking yourself and you're so focused on braking later than the guy next to you, they might go deeper to try to hold you off. So that's why your reference points are so critical. You've got to know where your drop dead break point is. And so like, say I got a little run on this guy in front of me, I pull out to pass, I get up next to him, but I don't have enough speed to, to pull off the pass completely. And so I know that I can't go any deeper than right here. I pull off the pass, he might be in a lighter car, he might be able to break later. So even though you're racing the other guy, you never stop racing the racetrack. As if you didn't know. All the content is filmed on a closed course by professional drivers. Do not try this on public roads. Always wear your seatbelt and drive responsibly. 